Intensifying efforts for a truce in Lebanon have shone a spotlight on its army, which would be expected to keep the south, the borderlands with Israel, free of Hezbollah weapons. But it is neither willing nor able to take on the Iran-backed group, seven sources told Reuters. And any confrontation with it could trigger internal strife. Even though Israeli forces have killed at least 36 soldiers in strikes like this one that hit an army post in the south, the Lebanese army has stayed on the sidelines of the past year's conflict. So what are the challenges any deployment would face? There's a much stronger force in Lebanon than its army, and that's Hezbollah. The armed Shiite group would have to give the nod to any deployment, given its huge arsenal and sway over the Lebanese state. The United States is keen to see the army confront Hezbollah more directly, sources say. But as well as the imbalance in strength, a large proportion of army soldiers are Shiite Muslim, like Hezbollah. Scenes of troops trying to seize Hezbollah weapons could lead to civil war, one diplomat said, suggesting that instead the army could work alongside UN peacekeepers patrolling the south. The Lebanese army has long avoided fighting either Hezbollah standing aside when the group and its allies took over Beirut in 2008, or Israel, even when it has struck the army directly. Lebanon's military is so underfunded it started offering helicopter tours to raise cash, when the country's financial crisis slashed the salaries it could pay. It is reliant on foreign funding, especially hundreds of millions of dollars from Washington. Some international aid to the army has been held up, pending a ceasefire. And diplomatic sources said U.S. officials have sought to withhold funds to pressure the Lebanese government to make concessions. The solution to this crisis is not a weaker Lebanon. It's a strong and truly sovereign Lebanon, protected by a legitimate security force. A U.S. official disputed that military aid was being used as leverage, and the White House declined to comment. Founded in 1945, the Lebanese army is split between Sunni Muslims, Shiites and Christians, and it's a long-standing symbol of national unity. Though sectarian pressures split it during the civil war in the 1970s. The army's priority is staying intact now, as the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah shakes the country, displacing hundreds of thousands of Shiites, and internal tensions once again rise.